Hey, how are you? It's Iftach, and today I'm here to show you how I use the Digitact and the Shuttle Control, which are both very, very nice machines on their own, but they also communicate in a super nice way, which I think is worth showing, because these two machines can create like a super nice portable setup. The nice thing about the shuttle control is that it has a host input, which means we can just connect the Digitac directly to the shuttle control with no MIDI cables whatsoever. So it literally just plug and play. I just put it in. You see this little H LED blinking? This means it's basically ready. So I'm not going to go too much into details about preparation. Assuming you know the Digitact and assuming you know the shuttle control, I have my shuttle control mapped in a pretty simple way. Uh, I have like a mono voice sending out channel one and two CCs sending on the same channel. So at the Digitact, if I just go to a MIDI track, uh, you can see I already preset it. This is set to channel 1 to send notes on channel 1. So basically if I turn this into a chromatic keyboard I can just play my modular system as I would with a keyboard or whatever. You get the idea. Please note that uh, I have uh, the auto legato set to on. I think it's per default nowadays, which means it's going to basically auto legato every time I hold the note, which is really nice for acid. And also, we'll get to that later, but if I turn on the slew amount, it will also slide, which is really nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's just try to record a line and jam along with it and see what we can do with these two wonderful boxes. All right, that worked nicely. Please note that um, I had my quantization settings on, this is why it's quantized. But the nice thing about the Digitact is that quantization is like undestructive, so you can like move between quantized and non-quantized. Let's stick to quantized because what the fuck I'm not a keyboard player. Yeah. Let's see what we can do with it. So the nice thing is that we can also send CCs from the shuttle control to the Digitact, which is something that I also pre-set. And I have CC number 20 sending out from the shuttle control, controlling uh, the second FM input of my filter, which is basically can be heard like this. So what we can do is we can do some parameter locks on it. Let's check it out. That was pretty random, but it works nicely. Okay, so a really, really nice new feature, uh, which came out with a new firmware of the Endorphin shutter control, is that we can now introduce slew between parameter changes when the CC is set to smooth CC. You, can, you need to choose smooth CC, not step CC, uh, which is really, really cool because the Digitact actually cannot yet, at least, do parameter slides which is really nice. So we can just do it and see how it sounds. You have to, I think it's pre-mapped to CC number six. Exactly, and something I haven't mentioned before, um, Glide is pre-mapped to CC number five and slew time of parameter of CC changes in smooth mode is pre-mapped to CC number six. Well, fuck, this was a complicated sentence. All right, let's go. Works. 
strike with something a bit more evident. Go to the first part of the pattern. Add some notes. Record some automations. So this is my stepped automation. And I can slowly add some slew to it and smooth it out. And of course I can also automate this. So of course we can also do anything else we can do with Digitact and MIDI, like for example using the LFO. So let's check this out. Uh, whoa, 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 filter. Take this slow down. Let's take an LFO and map it to CC2 value. This should be this one. Perfect, already working. So this is nice because we can also automate this, I believe. Let's see what's up. of potential there and of course you can also send uh, LFOs and whatnot from the shuttle control and random voltages and everything but this is a completely different topic I'm gonna stick to the things that you can do with the digitact and the shuttle control okay so this is it like very very shortly I mean it's a whole world you can dive into and go nuts and I just don't feel like it right now so I'm I basically, I don't feel like talking. It's not that I don't feel like it right now. I feel like it, but I don't feel like talking too much. So let me just uh, jam along and see what's up, what I can come up with, with these super, super nice machines that work really, really nicely together. I think I already said that.